to the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Tailback Devontae Freeman. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there to linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Third down, Freeman. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. This is Freeman. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. the pro bowler Julio Jones and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down 12 yards is the pickup good for a first down for the Falcons on first down it's Freeman five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On second down now, it's Freeman. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Freeman. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Right back to him on first down. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Throwing on second and 14. Ryan, and he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Calvin Ridley, 29 yards. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Hey, 
So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. All right, CD, let's take a step back. Look at the AFC playoff picture with just three weeks to go. Hard to believe. Essentially, I think it's seven teams for six spots right now. The Ravens are in, looking good for the number one seed at 11 and 2, essentially with a two game lead over the 10 and 3 Pats, who they beat in week nine. Then what? We got Chiefs in the West leading right now. Texans currently ahead in the AFC South. How about that wild card picture? Yeah, how about Buffalo? They had a tough loss at home to Baltimore. More, but boy, they're playing awfully well. And guess what? They go to New England next week. That game could have big ramifications. And the Steelers, how are they 8-5 and five on their third, maybe essentially fourth quarterback of the year since they traded Josh Dobbs in preseason? Incredible job Mike Tomlin has done as the head coach there. But the team to keep an eye out for in the AFC South. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, as we hit the home stretch of the regular season, just three weeks left. Let's look at the slate for Week 15, some of the more intriguing games. Houston and Tennessee, that's a big one in the AFC South. Rams going to Dallas, Buffalo and Pittsburgh, that's a Sunday night game. And then Charles Davis, he'll be taking his park into the frozen tundra. You've got Chicago at Green Bay this week. Certainly do, and I'll take a heck of a lot more than just my park. I will look like Bib the Michelin Man when it's all said and done. I will be bundled to the gills. I have 27 expected at kickoff. But let's face it, how much fun will that be? Another historic Bears-Packers game and a game where the Bears have to have it and the Packers trying to hold on to the number two seed. Houston at Tennessee, so intriguing. Houston just got jumped on by Denver. But these teams will meet twice in the last three weeks. A division title may be at stake.